This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Monero versus Samsonoff. Your plans to get married, Mr. Monero, are on hold until you find out whether or not Ms. Samsonoff is cheating or not. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Tell us why you've opened this case. Um, Your Honors, this is difficult for me today. Okay. Because I love Sonia. I loved her since I first saw her. I love her today. I want to have a beautiful kid with her. I want to be married with her. I want to laugh until we die. Wow. I can tell this is tearing you mm -hmm. up. But I'll tell you, uh, Your Honors, what? If I find out today for certain that she's still lying and cheating, I will no longer be in this relationship. So you can't take it anymore? I can't hurt myself like this anymore. I'm in pain all the time. What do those tears in your eyes represent? The future I want to have with her. And to know that it's potentially at risk is destroying you, isn't it? That's correct. So you're like, either she's in or I'm out. She's either got to be with a program or I got to find a new playing field. Okay. Miss hmm. Samsonoff. Yes. This man who has professed his love for you, who wants to be with you for the rest of his life, is accusing you of cheating. Yes. What Robert. do you have to say about these uh, allegations? I love Albert. He's funny. He makes me feel good about myself. My whole family loves him. We have the same taste in music. However, every single time I am with this man, he says, who'd you sleep with? Let me go through your phone. Um, let me go through your DMs. I don't trust you. And I'm like, well, I th why would you want to marry someone you don't trust? Wow. Do you think, Ms. Sampson, how part of this may be the 10-year age difference between you? That this trust is, is part of that? Pro is that part of it? But he's never trusted me, though. He, ever since we've gotten together, he has constantly accused me, going through my Instagram messages, leaving messages to my, like, friends and stuff. I mean... Because you're wrong and you know you're wrong. How? That's why. I'm not so, wrong. So you say ever since you all met, he's been doing that? Yes. How did you all meet? Okay. <laughs> We met at a family members of mine at a party, and, uh, and we really hit it off. But my family member let me know from the start that she was trouble, that she lies, that she, this is one of her I good lie. friends. That you lie and you cheat, that's what she said. That I lie and I cheat, yeah, huh? Yeah, that's wow. exactly Why what she said. Why would you ever want to be with someone that does that? Because I like to give people chances. I like to believe there's something else than what I hear. I like to see for myself. Mm, so you heard this, but then you're like, well, you know, I'm gonna judge for myself. That's I'm right. Gonna... So you gave her a fair shot. I've Three been giving fair shots. All right, so when you got together, how was it in the beginning? It was wonderful. I was so happy. I, I had such a... Every time I'd be around her, I would just be laughing. Look at the smile on his face. Yeah, I see that. I mean, it... It, it is very it's, it's clear. It's okay to smile. It's okay to smile. And, and be happy about the memory. Yeah. Ms. Samson, what was it like for you? It was wonderful. I, um, I loved to, to cuddle with him. We would talk about everything, about life, the future. But then, all of a sudden, the passion kind of sizzled out, oh, and oh. the sex wasn't as good as oh, it was before. Oh. <laughs> yep, let everyone know. And why do you think that happened? Why Because he just started to accuse me, and he just... Ah. Stopped wanting to, you know, get intimate with me, and then it was me practically begging him. Because I don't want to be intimate. I don't want to be intimate with five different people I don't know. Oh, oh. Miss Samsonov, you said that the sex just kind of declined because why? Because he's constantly accusing me of cheating. He, I have to practically beg him to get intimate with me, and he's like, nope, sorry, I don't know where you've been. And, like, and so, do you think these allegations came out of the blue? I mean, one day, I told him I was going to be running, like, 10 minutes behind. I, no kidding, I get out of the Uber, meet with him. We get inside my room. I lay down. I'm on my phone, just, like, playing a game. He spreads open my legs, and I think, oh, we're going to get intimate. And instead, he goes, that's not mine, and then slams my legs together. Okay, I thought we were going to have fun. But instead, he goes, that's not mine. He sniffed you? <laughs> yes. Oh, Ryan, we got a sniffer. We that. got a sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's... So, but, Mr. Monero, well, what I want to know is, these allegations came out of the blue that she was cheating? I mean, out of the blue? There's blue everywhere. It didn't come from out of the blue, okay? <laughs> Has she cheated on you in the she past? She had a baby in between our relationship with another man. Because you that broke sound? up with me. A baby oh. with another man. So, during the course of this relationship... 
There's been another man. Yes. And so is that the source of the trust being broken? Absolutely. Well, during the time you've been together, was there any cheating in the past? Okay. She went on a business trip to Vermont. Okay, business trip. Oh, my God. Oh, just chill. She went on a business trip. And so she gets back and she says, uh, I say, what'd you do? You have a good time? Oh, yeah, it was cool. The end. She never go on a business trip. She's gone for three days to Vermont. She's been to Vermont, okay? So that night she goes to sleep. Usually her phone is like the baby inside. You can't get to it. Like, you can't get to this phone no matter what. But she was tired from the flight, whatever. Her phone was out. And I looked at her phone. And I saw a picture with her with somebody else. When you say it's with somebody else, it's just like a picture, a candid photo, or what? I've got evidence right here. All right, okay. Ron. What? Yeah. Please, serious? Yeah. Yes, please. You know what this is. Oh, so she goes up. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It's... And yeah. so, what's when everybody you... want to say I now? What's everybody want to say now? I didn't think it was cheating because it was with another woman. You don't think anything's cheating, no matter who it's with. Hey, so, you know what? I had to experiment. So, okay? Miss Sampson, uh, this is you with another woman. Yes, Your Honor. Did you hear that? She said she had to uh, experiment like she's a scientist. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Miss Sampson, uh, why did you not consider it cheating? Because it's a woman, and I never got friendly with a woman before, and she was very sweet to me. He was not getting intimate with me anymore, and I'm on a business trip with a gorgeous woman. Why not? Why not have fun? I didn't even think he'd find out, but he did. <laughs> so it is cheating. <laughs> so it is cheating. You're with, you're with another person sexually, whether it's a man or a woman, you're with somebody else sexually, that's cheating, right? I thought it would, it would turn him on, though. She says she No, was, no, 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 don't no, no. She off. says she was nice to her. The mailman's nice to you. You gonna sleep in bed with a mailman? That's her reasoning. Oh, my God. Miss Samson, so, if you knew, let, let, let's, woman to woman, you knew that it was something to miss. Because here's the thing, if you thought it was gonna make him hot, You'd be like, I got something to show you, baby. And you'd have said, let me show you what I did this weekend. And you'd have showed her this picture. Instead, you know, you, she you're comes like, home. How was your trip to Vermont? Fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. how was Vermont? Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, yeah. Your Honor, exactly. let me ask you a question, if I may. Who took that picture, their toes? Yeah, you know well, what, I was... That, that was my question. <laughs> I, I wondered that, who, who took, took that the picture? picture. So there was at least one other person we there. Were, it was Who's little... we? Who took that picture? Well, if you'd let me explain. Go ahead. We were ahead at a lie. hotel room. There's some people from work. We're having some drinks. There was more than one person. Doesn't mean I had sex with that There's person. There's more than one person one... looking at that? Oh, I'm so sorry. So... I didn't think my toes can take a selfie. Uh, they can't. That's why I want to know who the hell is there. So just because someone takes a picture of me and a woman, you know, getting close, you think I had sex with them? I'm almost absolutely certain you did. Whatever. So, Mr. Monero. <laughs> Mr. Monero, do you believe she had sex with a man on this trip? Uh, yes. So you think it was this woman and some other man? And some other men. Men? men. You Who think knows? It's Look more at that one. picture. What does that tell you about somebody Why that just doesn't know you anybody be with and does that? If you feel this way. As his girlfriend, as someone who has spoken to my family about marrying me, why, I mean, why would you not trust me? Why couldn't he just ask or... Uh... You are really asking the question, why would he not trust you? Why the would proof he is right there. Me? Okay, the... I can answer that question, by the way. Let me give you guys, the, your honors, the answer. She, when we first met, she was on some military dating site. She swore off all dating sites, okay? Another time she was passed out, I saw she still had the military app on her phone. I like eye candy. Just stop talking for a second. And so you thought that she had gotten rid of the military app and you find that she's still on there. She, not only is she still on there, but I created a fake profile, some big old army dude, and then all of a sudden she starts hollering, hey baby, hey boo, what's up? Like she... she was free. Like she was free. <laughs> Are she... And you actually submitted her dating profile to the court, correct? Yes, that's what? correct. What? Are you serious, Albert? All right, let's take a look you at that, what you submitted. Anything. Whatever. Oh, my God. Let's take a look at what you submitted. Oh, here we go. Good. All right. <laughs> Hello. And it has Miss Samson off screen name there. Look at that picture. That's Five messages. Hey, that's a nice photo of me. Right. And then next we have... Ms. Sansonoff saying, I'm looking for a man who can take care of me and enjoy the finer things in life. 
This is what you posted on yes. your dating profile. Absolutely. While you're in a relationship with Mr. Monero. Yes. Okay, you did that. Why? Because he is not providing what I need in a man. He stopped taking me out on dates. He used to take me to Disneyland almost every week. He stopped doing that. Um... Whatever, man. Miss <laughs> Samsonoff. That's not a... Is that a reason? Am I missing something? Is I, that a you know what, husband? Help, I, help me I, out, I'm Erica. trying to understand. Miss Samsonov, here's the thing. If you're in a long-term relationship, you have to work on that relationship. The energy you're putting in to meeting other men and flirting with other men on this website is the same energy you could put into him. True. And, and, and here's the thing. How... Let me... Let's just do a reversal. He's gone to sleep. His phone is open. He's been gone on a business trip. And you found a picture of him with a woman. But the thing is, is that he constantly, constantly says that he doesn't trust me. He's literally pushing me into but the But, Ms. Samson, off, how in the world can he trust you when you're on dating sites saying, I'm looking for a man who can take care of me and enjoy the finer things in life? And you stand here and testify and say, he's not being the man I need. So, did you hook up with any of these men? No. Yeah, right. No, you're all... I did not. I did not meet with anyone that I was speaking to on that website, Your Honor. <laughs> have you met any men that... <laughs> did, have you met with men that you did meet on this website? No, Your Honor. Well, that picture said all, the all right. profile says it all. She ain't got to say nothing else. All right, so, Mr. Cutler, I think we got enough. We, we've heard it. We've heard plenty. We've heard it. So... We have the picture. She admitted sleeping with a woman. Well, the question is, did she sleep with another man or men? Then you got caught on the dating sites where she's putting out there, I'm looking for somebody. And so all of that has led Mr. Monero to believe that Ms. Samsonoff is cheating. To get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, this court has done a full and complete investigation. Mm-hmm. Good. At this time, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine... Is she cheating? <laughs> Ron, please just put Ms. Cisco into the courtroom. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I am a former Department of Defense certified military interrogator. I've interrogated members of Al-Qaeda and Taliban at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, shortly after 9-11. All right. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. First, I had the accused write a witness statement, which I analyzed for any indicators of deception and truthfulness. I studied the case file, I put together an interrogation plan, and then I interrogated Ms. Samsonoff to see if she was cheating on Mr. Monero. When you conducted the full interrogation, what were your initial findings about Ms. Samsonoff's feelings about Mr. Monero? When I asked Ms. Samsonoff how she felt about Mr. Monero, she said, he's sweet, he's kind, he's ambitious. Okay. What's wrong did with she, any of that? Did, no, no criticism. <laughs> did she disclose anything else about her relationship with Mr. Monero? Yes, Your Honor, she did. When I asked her if she loved Mr. Monero, she replied to me, I believe so, which is not a yes. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Pertaining to Mr. Monero's accusations, what did you learn during your investigation? Ms. Samsonov broke for me. So she told me about the accusations and what she's done. She did admit to me that she went to Vermont and she had some relations with this woman, but that there was a man involved. She told me that she went on a military dating site because the military men were very hot. Huh. She also told me that she was with another man the time that she arrived late at the house. And what did your overall investigation conclude? So as a person who's conducted hundreds of interrogations, I do believe she's still cheating. She does not want to be in a committed relationship, but she does want to remain best friends. Uh. Thank you, Ms. Sisko. You're welcome. Thank Anna. you so much. Ms. Monero, what do you have to say to Ms. Samsonov? I loved you. I was there for you when you were down, when nobody cared about you. And you came and accept real love. And you know what? You're never going to find it. 
and you're never going to get it. Without me, you're going to be lost. That's a very broad statement. It's a fact. No, it's not. It's not a fact, Albert. We lost the passion, okay? I need passion in a relationship. Well, go get passion from the girl in Vermont then. <laughs> I think I will. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Miss Sampson, if you don't want to be in a committed relationship, don't. It's okay. It's okay to be single and mingle <sighs> if that's what you want to do because you can see what this does to someone else. I don't want to hurt him, though. But I think we passed that point. I mean, way past that point. And not only have you hurt him in this relationship, you've hurt him for any future relationship that he's going to be in because you have scarred this man possibly for life. And I want you to know that. I know that. I'm sorry, Albert. You all have been together for five years and you're at the point where you want to focus on starting a family. But your focus has been diverted to something else because you think his focus has been diverted to someone else. Am I right, Ms. Dallas? Yes, sir. Okay, what's on the line here today? Your Honor, today I'm very nervous because we have a lot on the line. Me and Dante has been together for five years and I want to have a family with him. But if I can't trust him, today is the day it's going to be over. Okay. So it's all at stake right here today. Yes, sir. Whether you all grow from two to more. Yes, ma'am. All right. Mr. Johnson, she's put it out there. Are y'all gonna build or y'all gonna tear this thing down? Why are you here today? Well, I'm here to prove my innocence and continue to build with someone who I truly love and been with for five years. All right, so you are saying, look, that's are we getting ready to walk out of here and start our family? Yes. All right. So you think his focus has shifted to something or someone else what are the warning signs you've seen? At first, me and Dante was at the first four years. It was wonderful. It just, this year right here, it just started, he's starting to act like a, act like a damn fool. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> one way to put it. Can, can you be specific? He just, he is a womanizer. He loves to flirt, and he a cheater. <sighs> I can't deal with it. He flirt too much for me. <sighs> we could be somewhere, he see somebody, he's, how, hey, babe. You don't do all of that when you're in a relationship with somebody. And this has started this year? Yes. So he's been... Well, let me take that back. It started last year, but he just got out of control this year. Have you found anything? Yes, I have. Tell me about that. Okay. Uh, it was the summer night. We was at my cousin's house. We okay. was over there having a little drinks. So we come home. Duntavious kind of tipsy. But my intention was to be an investigator that night. So I, oh. was, I, I was waiting for him to go to sleep. And when he went to sleep, I looked inside his phone. When I looked inside his phone, I seen a sex video. Oh. A sex video of him and another woman. And so when I seen the video, I woke him up acting like a fool. And so what did you see in this video? I seen a sex video of him and another woman having sex outside. And, oh, and it's clear who, Yes. It's clear who's in the video. Well, clearly in the video, to me, it's a woman that stay over there in our neighborhood. He's saying it's not her. It's old. It's an old video. But you can clearly see Mr. Johnson. Yes, I know his body part. I know everything about him. So when do I you see his face again? Just... No, I didn't see the face, but I know his body part. I know all of that, his tattoos, all of that. My, I oh, well, the yeah. tattoos are yeah. a dead giveaway. It gave it all away. That's why well have his name on it. Oh, my name on it. So I see my name on the arm. Oh! oh. Your name on the arm. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's no way this video predates you dating her because you wouldn't have tattooed yourself with her name until after you were dating. <laughs> All right, Mr. Collin, I think we're done here. Now, <laughs> be, look, oh. it, it sounds like a good excuse. Oh, this is an old video. But it is that's old. my name. But this is before I met you. Yeah. Oh, but <laughs> see, that's how I was predetermined. I was predestined to meet you, so I got what your name tattooed on my arm. No. So one day I knew the I would be. The tattoo wasn't even really showing. Like that only tattoo that was showing is my five star that you know, that they cover up. That like tattoos on my hand, really. My arm really didn't show. Only thing you see is the butt. And you know. So it is you in the video. It's me in the video, but it's not with the person from our neighborhood. It's an old video of an ex. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but why is her name on you? Her name, she didn't see her name. She thought I seen, seen it, he name. lied. I seen the name. She seen my mama name on this I side. I seen the name on, I seen the name in the video. Well, I know his body part. I, I wish I still had the video. I would show you guys, but you know. Okay, but so you admit it's you in the video. You just said it's an old video yes, it's, before it's, you met Ms. Dow. Yes, yeah, sir. It's and that old. wasn't her name on his... And that wasn't... That, that wasn't her name. Okay. Have you found anything else, Miss Dallas? Yes, I don't find condoms in his, in his wallet. And uh, me, Dante, we don't have condoms because we trying to have a family. So if I find condoms in your wallet, 
that made me think right there that you cheating. We we did used to use rubbers like we first That's met. That's your favorite word. The first three years we were using cotton on and off, Your Honor. No lie, we used to cut off. Is that never... true? Uh, yeah, but it's not you though, because it, I was trying to have a baby. I'm 33 years but old. But I just didn't never okay. get rid of the condoms just within my pocket, just because, like. So, Mr. Johnson, you... you got old videos, old condoms. You just. <laughs> you know what? An old condom <laughs> ain't gonna help you. It, the, the, the condom <laughs> pad was all. It was wrinkled. You... It was open a little. So what I'm gonna do with that? It's dried out. Exactly. So why would you keep it? Why do you didn't throw it away? Did... So I won't see it. <sighs> Thank I you. I mean, brother. like an old condom ain't gonna help you at all. It's right. a whole lot of. A lot of kids saying daddy because of a whole condom. So I'm right. just putting right. it out there. Right. 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 I could just throw it away. Yeah. So you found we we found the condom. We've got this whole thing with uh the sex tape. Yes. Tell me there's nothing else to support. Oh, it's something this. else. All right, tell Day. Me. Mother's Day? Yes. Well, Mother's and, Day usually doesn't... Yeah, I thought I'm, I was Mother's Day. It was going good. I had cooked, you know, all of that. Duntavious side, he want to act like a fool again this day. <laughs> Duntavious leave by 8.30. In the morning or night? At night. Okay. When he leave, I didn't even know he was gone. I think he outside somewhere. He leave and don't come back till 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh. I asked Duntavious where he had been at. First thing he say, he had went to the grave site to see his ex. I didn't believe that, because no cemetery do not have no lights in the gravesite. Well, and they close at a certain time. Yes. Some do. So I knew, do. so I knew right then he was lying. I knew exactly right then he was lying because how he was acting. Like, he got mad about it, me and start kind of, you no know, fussing. And he said that whole time he was at the cemetery. No, no, I did not say the whole time. Okay. Like, if you don't want to beat me, just tell me now. Stop having me look like a fool all the time. He do I... that all the time. He said that and lie about everything. That's why we here today, because I can't trust him. When I left the house, the only thing I did was took some flowers to, you know, my ex's grave, because I had missed a couple years from going out there. I took some and I went with some friends to have some drinks. And that's why I was. She was mad because I wasn't answering the phone for her, and I didn't feel like arguing. But he could just told me that. I feel like if you wanted to go to the cemetery, why you didn't say that to me earlier? I have a car. We could have went together. Did he tell you at that time he had been out drinking? No. Oh, so this is new yeah, to this you? New. Okay. It's new right here. I, I'm just in my first time hearing about the drinking part. It's new. So then what did you do? After he tells you that and you're like, why didn't you tell me, what happens? Me and got in a big argument. Very big argument. I locked him out of the room just to keep away from him. I locked myself And I room. kicked the door open. And he kicked the door open. Why did you because kick the room door I wanted to get in my bed. That's why I pay bills. <laughs> okay, so I get that because, you know, we get into arguments, and people are like, so do you go sleep on the sofa? I'm like, no. no I pay bills. I, I pay bills. This is my bed, too. Now, we might not, we might be mad at each other. We might be turned the other yeah. way from each other. And she cools off, and I cool off. Why I got to sleep on the sofa? Because you mad. That doesn't exactly. work for me. So, I, I, look, I get it. Now, I'm not sure I'm kicking my door, yeah. but still, I, I get it. Yeah. So, you all go to bed, y'all mad. Yeah, I'm mad. He, I go to bed before him. Right. So, he come in the room trying to have sex with me. What? And the, and the first thing I did... Trying to make it better. And the no. First... <laughs> if y'all done had a fight, you done kicked in the door. She ain't gonna want to do that. <laughs> but, but, no... Now, makeup sex is a that, different animal. That is it. That's the first step to makeup sex. No, yeah, not kicking in the, the door. door. <laughs> he done kicked in the door and he like, hey, baby. She like, get off Like, me, I ain't break the door all the way down. It's just right. like, we still made love. No, though, right? we did not. Cause, cause later on that night he come get in the bed and I told him let me smell his private part cause he been gone. Uh, oh, yes. oh, you a sniffer? Yes. yes. Oh, she's a oh. sniffer and a checker. She checked oh, so, the door. Oh, yes. So I smelled his part part and, and I checked him. Right. When you check, I don't know what check means. I know what sniffing is. Lord have mercy. Check me when she. But I don't your, know what checking your, your is. Mean I checked his private part. So when I did that, um, they were soggy. <laughs> like, like this. That mean that he don't went out and had sex with somebody. And the other time, they be like this. Hard, firm, ready to, you know. Kyler, you, okay. are you tracking? Wait, wait, okay, and... And when I checked it, it was like this. Because he had been gone, every, every messing time. around with somebody. Every time. Okay, and it's because of that you think he was with somebody? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, Mrs. Mr. Johnson? Johnson? Okay, so we know that you weren't at the cemetery all this time. We know that you came he, back the, at, like, one time in the morning. He emptied the bank. Is it was empty. So, were you with somebody else? No, no, this is the no. question. Why were you deflated? 
I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess they do that sometimes. <laughs> I have the slightest idea. Mr. Johnson, I've never had any of those, I so I can't idea. speak to it. You asking the wrong she person. She said they do that when I've been, uh, you know, emptied the bank. And then when I, when I don't empty the bank, they be blowed up. So I, you're on a so they look, look the same to me. Well, have you ever noticed a before and an after? No, they always look the same. I look, I can't help you. Cause I, I, I I'm lost this is a man thing. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all talk about uh, this. Hey, they always look the same to me. So. Now, look, here's the thing. Ron is over there dying. He's like, don't <laughs> ask me, don't look at me, hey, don't talk to me, don't ask me. Ron, we're gonna <laughs> get you some of this too. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna leave you out the fun. It's, it's tough. <laughs> And so he denied it. So what happened after that? After that, we just been arguing, fussing. I, we didn't have sex that night. I told him, nope, I'm gonna go to sleep. All so, because of the deflation. Yeah, because he had been gone all night anyway. So all where was you? It, if you gonna a... tell me you left, that let me know you doing so you had no business doing. He had already admitted to me, like in 2015, that he don't have sex with somebody else. So you know about one incident? Yes. Now, I get that. I'm just like. You know, in your eyes, he came to you deflated, and then you left him more deflated when you said no. Yeah. Yes. I don't, you know, I don't know if that deflation thing's a real thing. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Miss Dallas, because of this issue of deflation and what it might or might not represent, we have a medical expert that's gonna come and talk to us about that at this time. Dr. Jamila Gator. Ron, would you please escort her in? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Gator? I'm doing well. How are you? We're great. Uh, would you tell our litigants, please, uh, what your expertise is? So, I'm a board-certified family physician that specializes in hormone balance as well as erectile dysfunction. Okay. You are a lady, then. Y uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I don't know if you've heard the testimony today, but Miss Dallas is accusing her longtime boyfriend of cheating. And one of the issues was that one night she felt his testicles and said that they felt deflated. So we just need some help in understanding what that reflected or meant. Okay. So this is definitely a myth. I don't, I don't know where these urban legends come from, but um, it's not the case. When a man gets aroused, then there's blood flow to his private area. Okay. And that causes his testicles to increase in size. Okay. So the famous sexologist, Masters and Johnson, actually studied this, and they found that at the height of arousal, the testicles can almost double in size. Wow. So it's related to arousal, not necessarily whether he had already emptied his bank. Okay. okay. So now, once he empties the bank, the testicles are going to go back to the normal size. So, in my opinion, it seems like maybe he just wasn't as aroused at that particular point in time, which could also be because they had been fighting and they weren't getting along, and so it may have been a little bit off that night. Okay. So, if he had been aroused, she may have felt the normal firmness that she talks about. Correct. He would have had lots of blood flow, which would have caused his testicles to increase and be firm, which is probably what she normally encounters. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Dr. Gator, thank you so much for dispelling that urban <laughs> legend. Yes. <laughs> Note to file. Oh, you better be happy. You better be happy. All right, oh. Mr. Cutler, let's talk about this evidence. We have a sex tape was found. We have a condom in his pocket. They don't use condoms. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we had this issue of the testicles, but we now know what that may mean? not be what was reflected there. And for all these reasons, Ms. Dallas believes that Mr. Johnson is cheating. And she has said, I want to start a family. I don't have time to play. I don't have time to play no more, Your Honor. I don't and have time to babysit. So, if you find out that he's cheating, this relationship is over. If he do not pass his test today, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot on the table. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna help you get to the truth because this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf to determine, is he cheating? You ready, Mr. Johnson? Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. Good day, Mr. Wolf. How are you? I'm well, Your Honor. It's good to see you. You as well. Would you explain, please, what forensic voice analysis is? Yes, sir. When you speak, you have AM and FM frequencies in your voice, like on a radio. And when you tell a lie, the FM frequency goes away. Forensic voice analysis measures those frequencies, and then I can look at a chart and I can determine where there's deception. All right. So you asked Mr. Johnson a series of questions. Let's take a look at the first question you asked him. Was the sex video made during your relationship with Ms. Dallas? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? 
The voice analysis determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. How old are you? How old are you? I'm sorry. I can admit to my walls, can you? I, that must not have been your tattoo then. I can admit my walls, can you? I can apologize. Shh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the next question you asked, Mr. Wolf. Did you have physical sexual contact on the Mother's Day in question with anyone other than Miss Dallas? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Told you. Oh. Liar. I knew you were lying anyway. All right, Mr. Johnson. On to the next. How are you going to explain that five hours? Who were you with? Say the lies to yourself. Just be quiet. Don't I say that. Ex. You were with an ex? Yeah. yeah. Do you understand the seriousness of this? Yeah, I understand. No, he don't. You think Because I'm joke. not sure you do. I'm watching your demeanor. I'm watching your face expression. You kind of laugh it, Because y'all only get my side of what I be doing. See, y'all don't really know what she be doing or what led me to do what I be doing. You see what I'm saying? Well, first of all, we're not here about her. We're here about you. Yeah, about you. me. That's why I'm not... Okay, you know and secondly, whatever she did, you can't use that as an excuse to say it led you to do what you did. You did what you did because you did what you did. You right. All right. Miss Dallas, you said you didn't know what you were going to do, but you knew that you needed to know the truth before to figure it out. Yes. Have you come to a decision, though? No. That's okay. It's a lot to take. You've spent five years with this man. But what I will say to you is trust is the very foundation. The very foundation. And communication. And both are lacking here.